We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquigum's Fire Emblem, uh, Shadow Dragon. The Blade of Light continues now. Alright. No distractions this time. No interruptions. We're going through it. It's going to be fine. It's probably not going to be fine. But we're going to pretend that it's going to be fine. Alright, let's attack with the, the dragon with the divine and hope that you live. Well, I mean, the counterattacks aren't that deadly, so that's good. However, the fact that he had to kind of go that route does not really instill a tremendous amount of confidence in me. Alright, we're going for this. Oh, thank goodness. I'm like, my god, we've missed so many attacks lately. I think attacks are based off of skill. We have a 20 skill and we missed? How? How does that... You know what? It's... It's whatever. It's fine. Alright, I'm feeling very unbold, but I am going to attack anyway. And apparently Wendell is the man, as we already knew. We already knew this. This is not a surprise to us at all. We know that Wendell's got what it takes to bring forth the pure madness and destruction that we so desperately crave. All right, can we land the killing edge onto you and put you down, sir? I say yes. And we can do it without taking damage. It's even better. Uh, we have no fear of... Oh, Sade is even fully... Okay. We have no fear of archers. Let me double check. I want to make sure there's not like one waiting in the wings here. There's one up top. That's not really a problem. Alright. So there's no archers waiting in the wings to slaughter us. So... That means that we can actually lay into these guys with our flying units. And, oh yeah, we're using the Silver Sword. It's gonna happen. Okay. That was a, that was a fair bit of damage there. I give, you, I give you a little bit of credit on that one. Like, I really want to send him in to do stuff, but I just feel like I will get him killed right now. And I would rather him not die. So, we're gonna not do that. However, what we are going to do is use our Killing Edge, and we are going to say, Hasta luego, let go my ego. He's gone. Alright, 38 points of experience, level 2. Very nice. Oh, Alright, so our crew are all moving over. Our big heavy, which we're probably going to have to move back over to the left to deal with this person, because we're definitely not going to have S to deal with it. All right, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I'm still very concerned. And that's always gonna be the case. Oh, just critted my, did you see that? Wait, are they done with the uh, reinforcing? Just a, just the one wave? I mean, it was, a, it was a heck of a wave. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna give it any kind of guff. That, I mean, that was quite the wave of reinforcements, but. I mean, I think I can lure the knight over to, or the the horse archer over, if I if I really wanted to. So was it Seda that took the the shot? No, it was uh, Minerva. What am I doing? I can just attack from where I was. It made, it made no sense to move at that point. It's like, let me move out of the way so someone else can get in the water and attack. Technically, that's actually a possibility. Oh, well, never mind. Well, when we hit with a high crit item, you know? It's very possibly going to happen. Alright, can the manatee take down you? Get a manatee! Haha. <laughs> hey, we got a little bit of experience, right? Every little bit counts right now. I mean, I'm definitely going to take it. Silver bow. Will we drop him? Maybe? 
Probably not, though. We're almost max level. Pretty ex I, I don't want to run the risk. I, I'm too concerned to, to try that. Let's hit him with a pachyderm, see how he likes it. Maybe it's better against unarmored individuals. Oh, that did a lot, actually. Alright, Jake had a decent measure of experience there. A little bit of HP recovery. Kane's fine. You're getting there. You're ready. We gotta get Marth down over here to claim the village. Then we can get people back up to the top side to deal with the rest of the chicanery. But we had Wendell step up and show why he is still the greatest of all time. He's the GOAT. It's true. Wendell's the goat, folks. Wendell is the goat. Meanwhile, Merrick, less goat-like. I mean, he might look like a goat, but eh. You know. Alright, well, I don't know that I need to go down any further at this point. Alright, let's go ahead and do this and give you back your rapier. There we go. Alright, now the secret book probably is like skill or something like that. It's probably just some random stat. Uh, if we had like an intelligence, I would assume it would be intelligence, but it probably isn't, so my guess is skill. And... Ugh, maybe we put it on caster. The skill is horrendously low. Your skill's pretty low too, what about you? Oops, I missed. Oh, your skill's maxed. All right, yeah, I think I'm, I might put it on Caster. I think that's gonna be who gets the uh, who gets the rub, so to speak. I'm still gonna move Big Heavy down to the bottom. Big, big Man Draug is gonna go to the bottom, and we're going to chill up here with you. And yeah, I think that's good. All right, let's end the turn. Let's see if any more reinforcements come on through. Mm. All of a sudden. You're afraid. Okay. I think I'm gonna put Seda like here. I think that's close enough that it might uh, impress upon our uh, little Archerian friend over here. Uh, maybe they can get a kill. Maybe they can attack one of us. You know, they can't. Probably. But, you never know. Maybe. I was really hoping that they would just continue to follow Est, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So now it's time for us to start traversing... stuff. I guess we'll meet up over here. We'll have the thief come over and drop off the uh, skill book. The Book of Secrets. The Book of Calamity! Merrick is just like, I want to be just like Wendell! I could be strong too! I got 15 levels under my belt! <laughs> I really wish I could get Tiki a little bit stronger, but you know, growing the old dragons is never an easy task. I don't really know what to do with you, buddy. You're kind of kind of in no man's land, as it were. Same thing with this guy. He can't he can't traverse hills. Hills are like impassable for him. He's like, nope, can't do it. Wouldn't do it even if I could. All right, Mr. Draug, head on over, my friend. Yeah. All right, sweet. I think that's everybody. Is the archer rider gonna ride over and try to arch? Nope. Freaked out. Freaked out by the collective coming to collectify their face. Alright, what do we get from here? It's good to see you, Prince Moth. Is my granddaughter Lena in good health? Please give her this staff. Hammerney. Ha ham Hammerney. It has been passed down in our family for generations. It can repair some of the weapons and items, but not all. Be sure to tell her to be careful when using it. 
Uh huh. Yeah. No, I'm totally gonna give that to her and not anyone else who I have on the field right now. <clears throat> yep. Just len 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 with the hammer knee and stuff. It's 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 fine. It's all good. Huh? Yeah, look, we're right here. Oh, we're just one step away from getting shot with an arrow. Yeah, I know you're pretty. I'm excited for you. Look, look at this, huh? Look, oh, Estes right there. You can see the whites of her Pegasus. I, I, I don't know. All right, get your your hoofed butt up over those hills, my friend. I think it's time to put this map already to bed, which is nice. Feels good. This is a tough map, though. We had some some really lucky moments that kind of worked out to our advantage. All right, what's wrong with you? Why are you bedong donging? Oh wait, do so you have a paladin's honor? Why do you have that? That's not something you need. Right, I'm gonna give this to him. Here, hold this. I was like, why, why in the world do I want a paladin's honor, dude? I'm gonna try to use it. I just wanna see what would happen. Nothing happened. I, I figured nothing would happen. Alright, items. Secret book. Trade. If it's not skill, I'm gonna be... Maybe ups... I don't know. Caster seemed like most of his stats were pretty low. Except I think strength is actually pretty high. Other than that, I think it's pretty low. Even the speed's kind of so. Eh. It, there's a there's a good chance that whatever it is is going to be worth him getting and doing. So, I mean, I'm here for it. All right. Oh, you're just flat out just like fleeing in terror at this point. Like all rationale has left you, huh? All right, so here's my my next question. Oh, stop it! Go there. What are you using? You're using the, the Gradivus. That's the spear. So we'll be claiming that from you soon enough. I don't I don't know what kind of uh, range you have with that. I don't want to risk getting hit yet. I wish I wish they had like in their forties, you know, with their uh, their HP. The fact that they're still in the twenties, it's just it's an uncomfortable feeling, you know. Anyone who's still like around 24, 25, it's like, oh, why are you so bad at life? You should have more life by this point. Even, even, like, Wendell's super powerful, and he's, he's got, what, 20, 29 HP? That's, that's a little concerning, you know? You would kind of hope for more. Yeah, I think our thief did okay this time. I mean, he, he wasn't super useful, he didn't definitely do anything combat-oriented. Alright, let's see if, uh, this item actually gives us skill, or if I'm crazy. It is skill. Okay, we got five skills. So now he's, what, 12 as opposed to seven? Ugh, still terrible. Still real bad. It's okay. All right, so in the turn, we got basically two things left to defeat. We're going to attack Marth. I need to hit you with Marth? Well, no, I don't. I just need to get Marth uh, over here. And I need to switch a stupid item. I don't want him to be using the more curious sword. That just feels good, but also scary and bad. I know. Seems weird, right? Can you not instantly kill this person? Nah, it's sad. I didn't think you were going to miss. Alright, Wendell's coming up. He's finally made it through the mountains and the hills. Whether they have eyes or not, he's finally through them. Uh, 
Uh, we're slowly getting there. Bit by bit, dragon by dragon. Alright, Mr. Moth. Rocking that 43 HP because of the Seraph's robe. Heck yeah. All right, we're going to, again, we're going to chill outside of potential ranged range. Because we're not sure what we're getting ourselves into here. All right, we still got Thorin. And come over. Oh, right. Probably should send you up through too, huh, buddy? I need him. I think he's maybe our strongest individual. Definitely up there. I say if, if we're if we're truly believing Marth to be the strongest, uh, top three strongest is definitely going to be Navar. Okay. Uh, two turns, and I think we've got it. By George, I think I've done it. Ish. All right, I'm gonna roll out with my 39 HP and hope for the best. Okay. I believe I believe we're ready. Ish. All right, Wendell, can you not die a horrible death if I? I'm gonna attack you from being in the trees and see. Thorin, go! Oh, he counterattacked. Oh no, that's scary. Wendell. Wendell! Oh, I love Wendell. He's so good. Alright, at this point... Is it, is it Seda? It's gotta be Seda. Okay, whoo! My dear Nina, farewell. Oh my god, I almost died. Chemis was holding Gradivas. Seda obtained Gradivas. Also level three, skill went up by one. Max HP went up by one. Oh, that was, that was, there was a massive risk there. Oh, I I don't know if I'd say that paid off, but it did. Probably. Maybe. Princess Nina, I am sorry. I could not do what you asked. Marth, it is I who should apologize for putting you through this. In truth, since the moment I entrusted the Fire Emblem to you, I knew this would happen. I saw that once the royal family was restored by the Fire Emblem, I would lose something precious to me. Our land has a legend of the emblem, Artemis's curse that foretold this. Sweet. Another episode down. Not all the episode. Another map down. Oh my god. Uh, these levels are getting really difficult. Their brains start to hurt. Oh, look at all the potential reinforcement spots. Hey, oh, sorry. I said, I'm like, why can't I go out and look at the map? Oh my god, we got Dragoon after Dragoon after Dragoon, all level 7, around 31 HP, higher than any of our own. This one's level 5 with 28. Alright, so these are a little bit weaker. Double Matchstick Men. I missed. Boomst. Oridion. Okay. We got a mage. We got a secondary mage. Uh, level 5 pally. And silver lance. Silver lance. Silver lance. Silver lance. Alright. Across the board. So that's going to hurt. 
We got a sniper with a silver bow, level three. We got a general with a silver sword, level nine times three. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Well, oh boy. Depends on what they do, I guess. How this is gonna go. Wendell, Merrick, Jorge, Minerva, Abel, Kane. Eh. I guess Est, Tiki, Jake, Caster, Seda, Lawrence is now part of the squad. And I think I gotta bring Zane back in, because we're gonna need him. Alright, no Julian this time. Clash and Mastodon. After defeating Grust, the Arcanian League at long last reaches Mastodon's border. A proud force of Mastodon's Wyvern Knights are at the ready and will not let them pass. Rumors spread of countless warriors ready to spill from the fortresses. Can Marth's army fight its way through them and cross into Mastodon? I don't know, man. It's starting to look like we might be having some, some heavy losses coming. Oh my god, why are we all spread out weird? Oh, man, those... Those reinforcements... You know them reinforcements are going to be rolling hard and fast. It's not going to be pretty. Alright, Wendell, let's get your butt moving. We should put the Gravidas on. Probably on our on you, right? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be on you. A Gravius, or whatever the heck the thing was called. What was it? Bum, 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 huh? Yep. Take. Wait. Does he still have it? Is it on Marth still? Did did he end up with an extra slot for some reason? Oh, Martha didn't kill it. Who who did? It was uh, one of our dragon. It was Seda. Uh, which is where? Wait a minute. Where? Where? Where's Seda? Oh, way the heck over here. Of course she is. All right. It. Wait, can she actually use the, the thing? If she can use it, I might leave it on her. Hmm. She can use it. Also, can't Wyvern Knights use axes? I'm wondering if I should have maybe put axes on these folks. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to trade this over to you. I don't know that that's necessarily the right call. I've just been basically using swords on our guys, but eh. Those we'll see. Honestly, I probably should have moved uh, Seda or moved Zane over to to copy Seda. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Est, you are you are out of your league, as is our uh, baloney boy here. Even well honestly, most of our crew is kind of out of the league. It's uh, a little scary. Our dragon doesn't look like they'll ever have the opportunity to become a real powerful dragon. Assuming that we even get stats with uh, Tiki. Which I honestly cannot promise would be a thing that happens. Man, our, our troop spreadage is just weird, really weird. It's straight up strange. But if we get the right people in the right position, hopefully we have the power to defeat everything. I have my doubts. 
but we're gonna see. All right, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and end the turn and watch like three of our people die first turn. All right, the generals are moving down. Fortify, oh, the dragon riders are coming. Fine, I think. Depending. Oh, they're they're really moving their whole army down. This might oh okay, not not their whole army. I say this might go very poorly for us. All things considered. Alright, let's see what I can do with the dragon. Can I even break through their armor at this point? Bah. Nope. Oh, jeez. Okay, that didn't feel good. Alright, I immediately do not like our situation. I am going to go bold, as I often do. Stepping into the chaos and the crazy. Okay, that counterattack was way harder than I thought it would be. Right, I'm going to have to let those guys handle whatever's on that side on their own. Armor... Slayer, let's see what we got. My god. Apparently not much. Pachyderm? Oh my god, it dodged. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Oh, that's in range of that archer. sword oh my goodness Mike well, we're in we're in trouble like we're legit maybe maybe in like some serious deep trouble here can you even hit him no well oh god but he can hit you just fine oh my god this is nightmarish Oh, thank God Caster actually was able to hit. Jeez. It's Wendell. Alright, I'm going to attack with Excalibur. And we're just going to have to hope that this does something. Hoping it did something more than that, mind you. Mm. Alright, well, risky maybe, but we're going for it. hurt, but not, I, I don't think too bad. I hope not too bad. All right, strength up by one, luck, defense. Uh, we got armor slayer. Okay, Seda killed. All right, so we killed the, the heavy armored knights to start with. But, I mean, we took some tremendous quantities of damage. Away? 
Like I said, I really wish I would grabbed uh, Seda before she left, or whoever it was. Yeah, I think it was Seda. That would have made things a lot easier. Alright, now I gotta figure out who I wanna actually throw a heal on. I'm gonna use my last Physic. I think it has to go on Marth, just in case. Uh... I almost think maybe sending S down there just to give us an extra ability to move might even be the play. Alright, let's see what happens now. Uh... Oh, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Oh. oh, I like that though. Not, not great, but could have been way worse. Okay. You're javelin. That's that's fine. Ish. Were you gonna hit? Oh. Odd choice. Good. I'm glad that you missed. Oh no. Oh, Zane dodged. Everybody's still alive. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of stuff coming our way. There's a lot of uh, very questionable questions that are being questioned right now. I don't particularly like it, but that's a tale for another time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to break off the episode right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and you're going to stick around for more. We're getting ever closer to the end, guys and gals. I think there's this level and three more after it. Four more after it? I don't know. Something like that. Ah. We're on the way, folks. We're, we're rounding the, uh, the final corner before we uh, make our, our big push to the end, so we'll, we'll see. All right, folks. Disaster based strike in the next episode or sweet, sweet, savory, delicious victory. Who can say at this point? Either way, folks, until then, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. Always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.